hello there sorry about that I was just checking the cash which hopefully I'm going to part with today or at least some of it after I reviewed and appraised your medical equipment today so let's have a little look at the first item on the agenda let me inspect the external shell ensuring there's no defects any piece of medical equipment is enhanced in value if the original case is intact seems to be fine seem to have a little part here for something to slot inside let's have a little look Do you know what this is? It looks like a facimeter, a device for checking the prescription of your spectacles. Let's have a little look at the inlay here and the internal parts of the storage unit. Beautifully padded for protection and shock absorption. Nicely attached. No problems with the case. Right, let's have a look at the facimeter itself. So you have your viewing portal there. You have a dial there. If I turn the dial, the scale here moves there. It will be to focus and then read off what the prescription is. A little unit there for supporting base of the lens and if I push this here you can see this part here shall reverse retreat you can then place your spectacle lens there slowly release we have nice attachment in there so I'm just inspecting the piece here doesn't appear to be any problem external slot there but I don't see any cables but it can be powered by batteries as well checking the scale here it runs to plus 15 and a half diopters which is denoted by the black scale The negative scale is red, that runs to 15 and a half diopters minus. All the digits are looking correct there in order. So let's place that at zero. See if the device slots in there. Wonderful, that's all in place see if the device works I'm going to place my reading spectacles gently there start with the right lens okay let's have a little look inside so we have an astigmatism scale Checking any potential sill power, cylindrical power. Appears to be a green image. I'm just placing the optical center in the middle of the viewing zone there. 
And I'm just going to focus the image, which is of good quality. To there, looking at the scale, plus 150 diopter sphere. Nothing else to focus there. That sounds correct. For the left lens, let's find the optical center. There. Defocus and refocus the image to there. And again, that's reading as a plus 150 diopter sphere. Wonderful. So that appears to be in fine working order there. I'm certainly going to make an offer for that wonderful piece there. I'm going to say 20, 40, 60, 80. 100 Her Majesties there. That is your first offer, but before you make any decisions, we're going to look at the next device here. This beautiful black case. Leather replica. Almost like an alligator. Scales there. Lovely stitch inlay there for decorative purposes. Let's inspect the condition of the case. So we have a little bit of separation there. Back is fine. The base looks fine. Excellent. Double latch system here. This red inlay finish here. It offers protection to the optical pieces here. Just checking everything is intact. Listening to the sound. Two of them. No issues with the case. It looks as though we have prison bars. Two prison bars. Both a vertical prison bar and a horizontal prison bar. So these are used in the practice when checking your eyes, you can check for phorias and tropias, checking the amount of phoria that's needed to give you stable binocular vision, or for correcting any strabismus induced or diplopia induced issues from your strabismus your base there, the apex there, so because it's this vertical, which I place in front of the patient's eye in question, whether that's base up or base down, and try and give them the best prism for their prescription. So it is held vertically, either in front of the left or the right. It ranges from one diopter all the way to 25. Now bear with me, I need to just inspect the item. I'm sure there's no defects. So let's have a look at the prisms themselves. Nice and clear there. Make sure there's no chips, no chipping. Scratches. 
loss of clarity. Want them to be nice and transparent. Good for the bases. So that's looking fine. And just the rear. Lovely vertical prism bar there. Let's have a look at your horizontal prism bar. Okay, so this goes from one diopter all the way to 45. It shall be held in front of the patient like so, or like so, not across. So he's checking whether the patient needs base out or base in for the right eye, for example. Let me see how this is looking. Concerns with your prism bars or the case there perfect for use straight away in the clinic or for decorative purposes you have yourself a wonderful piece there how did you come to acquire this I'm going to say 20 40 60 and 80, just to be generous there. Okay, start to have a little think about this now as I move on to the third piece. Looks as though you have some UV protection visors here. These shall offer you sunlight protection, more specifically from the ultraviolet light. Protection comes from the side on the right, from the left, from the top for any sun rays coming directly above. Purposely nice and wide and deep. Slight projections there for optimum nasal bridge fitting. Fixed side bend. CE mark there, manufactured by Optima. It's a lovely piece there. Now these can be worn over the top of your distant spectacles for walking about. On those brighter days, they can be worn over your reading glasses. If you like to read outdoors, you could place them over the top of your bifocal or very focal prescription there. So if you have clear lenses and you want full protection from the sunlight, if you've had your cataracts removed, for example, or if you have cataracts and the glare is a concern, you could consider these a lovely piece there. Let's make my final inspection. Start with the left side. Inner right. The outer right side. Just within here. And within, just a few little hairline scratches, nothing too serious. Notice the sides are a little bit slack. Just for the 
front. As you can see some of those scratches there. Excellent. I really like those. Your final offer for the three items is going to be 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 Her Majesties with an additional 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200, and 20 pounds there. Would you like to take the offer?